Welcome to something different. This is a thermal comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro, Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Huawei P30 Pro. And I'm actually using a pro-grade infrared camera so you can see the exact heat at each point in each phone. All right, so first things first, charging. So I've literally just plugged each smartphone into its original adapter that comes in the box. And we're gonna see over the first 10 minutes how hot each device gets. So you can probably already tell the Huawei is getting really hot right now, especially in the top left-hand side. Samsung is by far the coolest phone, and the OnePlus is somewhere in the middle with pretty evenly distributed heat. If we now accelerate this from the 10 minute mark to the 30 minute mark, you'll see the similar trend but exaggerated. Samsung definitely stays the coolest, Huawei is definitely the hottest. In fact, if you take a look at this approximate scale on the left, you'll see that the OnePlus is hovering at around 40 degrees Celsius, the Galaxy S10 a little bit cooler at about 37, and the Huawei P30 Pro in parts is reaching 45 degrees. Here's a quick time lapse of the whole process, but the takeaway is that 45 degrees is really hot to the touch. You'll almost be a little bit surprised when you pick it up for the first time. Having said that, these three phones charge with three different power levels. The OnePlus with 30 watts, Galaxy S10 Plus with 15, and the Huawei with 40 watts. And so with that in mind, you can see pretty much a direct trade-off between the amount of battery you can charge within 30 minutes and the resulting heat from that charging. All right, so I've taken the phones out, I've cooled them down, and right now you can actually see they're cooler than their surroundings, but that'll change very quickly. So what we're gonna do now is simulate a fairly intensive day-to-day -day scenario. So we're gonna start by putting each phone in its high performance mode, and then we're gonna load up Instagram. So we get the application open, head to the explore page as we usually do in this test, and then see what time does to the temperature of each phone. It's quite an interesting result. You'll notice the concentration of heat move from the surroundings to the devices themselves in a matter of minutes. So to answer the question, yes, even Instagram heats up your smartphone. A couple of things to note about this test. I've actually raised each smartphone off the surface it's on just to allow normal airflow around it. And we are actually currently in a pretty warm, but not super warm room, about 23, 24 degrees. Okay, so without any kind of reset, we're gonna switch from Instagram to full metal monsters. It's a game, fairly intensive 3D game. We're gonna see what that does to temperatures. You can probably already tell though that the Huawei is the hottest. The Huawei is now already reaching nearly 40 degrees at some points, whereas the Galaxy is somewhere around the 37, 38 mark and the OnePlus about 35. Again, without any break, we're gonna head straight into 4K video recording. And my hunch is that this is gonna seriously raise that temperature bar. This does turn out to be true, but what I'd say is more interesting is exactly where the heat is coming from in the phone. So if you take a look at the Huawei, that phone has reached 47 degrees at its hottest point. That is seriously warm. And that heat is actually concentrated towards the top of the phone, where both the phone's storage and the phone's chip are housed. So again, if we just time-lapse that whole process, you'll see that actually even light usage can make these phones rather hot. The Huawei reaches 35 before we've even started gaming, but then video recording really pushes them all to the limit. All right, final test. We're gonna try and push the CPU and the GPU as far as we possibly can, as well as hopefully the battery too. So I've installed the 3D Mark benchmark on each phone and I'm gonna start by running the pretty intensive Ice Storm Extreme benchmark on all phones about four times. And once that's done, I'm then gonna to switch to the even more demanding Slingshot Extreme and do that another few times. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that Samsung actually starts to creep up. Samsung is getting pretty hot, pretty fast. And this is the Exynos-based Samsung, by the way. So in a way, as well as just comparing the models of these phones, this is part a comparison of the Snapdragon chip on the OnePlus versus the Exynos on the Galaxy versus the Kirin on the Huawei. What is quite interesting is that as soon as we start switching to the more extreme slingshot benchmark, OnePlus overtakes Samsung in terms of heat quite quickly. You'll notice that especially towards the top right of the phone, it is getting white hot. It is getting pretty much to 50 plus degrees Celsius. And on the other side, Huawei in this scenario has actually stayed pretty cool. At its hottest point, it's actually at about 42 degrees. So I actually just picked up each phone straight after doing this test. And for OnePlus, the body and the screen were really, really hot, almost uncomfortable to hold. That said, the way the body is curved so that you have these really narrow edges means that the edges don't retain as much heat. So they actually feel much more manageable. The Samsung felt pretty much as hot, but that heat was distributed all around the phone. The back was hot, the screen was hot, the sides are hot, just all around, you can tell it's been working. And then the Huawei, still hot by the way, we're talking about a glass and metal sandwich that has been heated to over 40 degrees. So still not exactly comfortable to hold, but not as bad as the other two. 
If you enjoy this video, a sub would be massively appreciated. And now that we've got this set up, there's a few cool opportunities. We could test the thermal performance of smartphones with and without cases. We could test potentially smartphones that have much more advanced cooling solutions versus ones that don't. How much difference does that make? Let me know if you'd like to see that. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.